friends, welcome back to my crafty space and welcome to another unexpected story kit crush process video. In today's video, I'm going to be putting together a super quick layout telling the story about taking Izzy to get her eyes checked and finding out that she needed glasses. Now, this is a story that I have actually told before in a slightly different way using the Sense Story Kit, but that was a story that went into Isabella's personal album. I also wanted to tell this story and have it in our family album, which are the albums that I will likely hold on to even when the kids maybe someday grow up and want to take theirs with them. So for this one, I printed a photo in a four by six orientation. Um, I'm not really going to do anything to this photo. I'm going to leave it as is, but this is Izzy sitting on my lap as she was having her eyes tested, a photo that Erin took since our whole family went to get our eyes checked together. I'm then going to pair this with the card that says totally didn't see that coming, which talks a little bit about how we didn't expect that her eyesight was going to be so poor and um, just the shock that that had for us. I'm so glad that we took her and that she's able to have glasses that help her have better sight. For the second three by four card, because this is just gonna go into a divided page protector, I cut a piece of one of the six by eight pattern papers into a three by four card. I loved having the bright colors here and I love how the reds complement the red in my shirt here. However, I want to mute this down just slightly. So I also cut out a piece of vellum to the same size. This is a three by four piece of vellum. On top of the vellum, I want to add one of these fabric hearts. I believe these were an add-on to the unexpected story kit. I always, always, always love getting the fabric adhesive backed hearts. I do want to use my tweezers to help me get this into the exact right spot. We'll go right here in the middle. And that's just going to tone down some of those colors because even though I love the bright colors, I also, it's also really bright. <laughs> so it's just kind of nice to have it toned down. Then there were also these, what is this canvas? Yes, a canvas word strip that was another add-on to the collection. This one says adapting and I thought that that was a really appropriate word for uh, what our family and what Isabella is now doing having to go from not wearing glasses to wearing glasses and let me tell you she adapted to wearing glasses super well. So my plan is to actually add the adapting right on top of the heart so it just creates this little embellishment and then this card is going to be a filler card. To attach everything on though I think I'm going to just use my tiny attacher. I might need to go from the top actually. And then I will staple it right in the middle of everything so that the staple holds everything down, including the vellum itself. These are going to slip inside of a page protector, one of the little three by four pockets. So I'm not too worried about things shifting around. It's not that big of a deal. It'll just slip down in and be all set. And that, friends, is it. This was my entire process this time. And Sometimes I, I debate whether or not to even share stories like this via process video, but I decide to do it because I love to do a lot of really crazy creative types of layouts, but I also find so much value in the simple layouts as well. And so I share these as a reminder that you don't have to be crazy, crazy, interactive, creative in order to have a story that's worth telling. You can just add a sticker and a piece of vellum onto some pattern paper and that can literally be it. And it still is a worthy story to tell, a story that's worth telling and that's worth sharing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read my journaling for this one. If you want to skip over this portion, you can just head to the next chapter in the progress board, progress bar, goodness, I can't talk, or in the timestamps in the description box down below. Uh, so the journaling here, the title says totally didn't see that coming. And then the subtitle says definitely unexpected. 
We knew it was likely that Izzy would need a little aid with her sight. At least we knew that was a possibility. I thought her sight couldn't be that off since she's reading and doing just fine with all of her school studies. I was definitely not prepared for Izzy to be severely farsighted. In fact, I was in a bit of shock as she was, as she was getting her eyes tested. Seeing the numbers and letters get bigger and bigger where she should definitely be able to read them, but then not being able to do, not being able to. I could not believe it and felt so guilty for not bringing her in sooner. I'm so glad that we did take her in and that she's able to see so much better with her new glasses. Definitely unexpected. So uh, a nod to this really important moment in our family's life and in uh, Isabella's life and really in our parenting journey. So a story I wanted to have documented. So I will go ahead and put this into a divided page protector. It's just going to, going to go into my family story album, and that is going to be that. Friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing this super quick and simple layout come together. If you did, I would love a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you consider subscribing. I am going to be back next Friday working on another layout with the unexpected story kit, so keep your eyes open for that. In the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and start to your week next week. I will catch you all in the next video.